Welcome to my final week, week four of the PhD vlog. Um, I have a kind of idea of what I'm going to talk about today, but it might diverge. Um, yeah, what have I learnt from being a scientific PhD student? Um, I think I've learnt to have a little bit of a thicker skin. Um, I know now a lot more that things don't work out they don't work out the way you want them to. It's um, you can plan an experiment and plan it really well, and you might it might not work, and it's disappointing. It's really disappointing, um, especially if you really thought it would work. Um, and a lot of things, little things, go wrong. Like um, reagents don't work. You have to order new things. It takes weeks for something to come in. Um, it's not in supply right now like just these stupid like logistical things that um it can be really frustrating that that's what's holding you back sometimes but uh, so i need to uh, still work on not getting bogged down by these things and, and not getting so frustrated and um, when something doesn't work out because it just happens and and that's that and um as well you'll especially in the netherlands i feel you'll be um, confronted or or told very directly um, when something is not what someone else thinks will work. So um, the Dutch people that I've worked with can be very direct, very, it, it's a directness of the Dutch, it's a thing um, here. They will tell you exactly what you th they think of your work. So if you're giving a presentation to the department and someone thinks that one of the steps you're doing is, is not right or that they would do it differently, they'll tell you and you have to really know what you're doing. You have to know why you're doing a certain thing and um, that's not what they suggest as well. So you have to be able to stand your own ground or know when they're right. And yeah, getting that balance, it can be quite intimidating at first when you're kind of faced with someone that disagrees with you um, because yeah I know that I have trouble sometimes being eloquent being able to state why I think something and I know it in my head but to be able to um, portray that to someone else uh, is really difficult for me sometimes so I think to be here you really need to um, you have to know what you're talking about <laughs> um, which yeah I'm working on um, I know that in all research there's general ups and downs for things not working and um, and stuff so yeah I'm, I am getting better at, at figuring that out but I wish I'd known a little more about that before I started my PhD because I was really optimistic when I started and um, I kind of thought like oh yeah my project's gonna be perfect this is gonna work straight away these are gonna this is all gonna fall into place and it's now been yeah a, a year and a bit a year and a half almost and um, I'm not there yet with getting full results so it can be really frustrating so you should know that um, living abroad in general I found to be quite nice I'm really lucky that I had good flatmates and I had a nice place to stay straight away when I got here. Um, I feel at home here because I have um, the friends that I've made through through the lab as well as the friends that I've made through my flatmates. Um, and I think I'm just going to keep feeling more at home here because there's nothing that's like putting me off. Um, I've got my cats. I've got kind of life set up here which is um, I think quite positive there are a few international people that are they know that being here is a stepping stone and that they want they have a specific place that they want to be after either either that they go home or that they know that they want to move to this specific other country and do research there or and um, things like that where I found that I feel quite at home here and I would be happy to stay in the Netherlands and um, there are a lot of opportunities here for research either in universities and academic research or as well as that in spin-off companies or um, industry. So because there are so many opportunities and so many more I feel than in the UK for me, um, yeah I think I, I feel I feel very comfortable being here. I, yeah it's really great. Um, one downside is you know you're away from your family and um, 
I've always lived in the UK before this. Um, the furthest away from home I lived was London. So um, it's actually quicker getting home from here than it was getting home from London and cheaper because <laughs> uh, the trains from London to where I'm from in Scotland were like eight hours long and had, <laughs> or in fact, six, like 12 hours it took to get home. Um, and they were like 200 pounds, where like a flight from here is 440 euros or something return, which is really great um, and, and it's quick and easy. So I do miss home and it does feel like I'm far away sometimes, but with um, Skype and you know everything now, it's, it's so much easier than um, it's probably ever been to live abroad and to um, still have the same contact with your family. Um, I, I think that being an EU citizen really helps with studying here, um, like visa-wise, uh, work-wise, like I get all the, the same benefits as a Dutch citizen because I'm from the EU, where like some people like in my group from Indonesia or India have to really apply for the work permits, ap apply for everything. Um, so it was really nice doing this PhD vlog. Um, I hope that I haven't bored you too much and that you know more about living in the Netherlands now and doing a scientific PhD here. Um, I think it's a really good place to work and there are a lot of um, opportunities available in new PhD um, places all the time um, and the research industry moves so fast that there will be new opportunities like, yeah, all the time. <laughs> so. Um, Again, if you want to leave a comment and ask any specific questions, I'll try and get back to you. And um, I know that I'm doing a PhD follow-up video in a few months, so look out for that. And good luck with your applications and your decisions um, with what you want to do. Um, if this is influencing it in, in, in any way, then that's great. Good luck. Bye.